Hello, myself Sebastian Peter. I am a professor at JNCSR in New Chemistry Unit. Uh, I work in the area of material chemistry. Uh, we are expertised in developing the material for various applications ranging from condensed matter, condensed matter physics, energy and environmental application. Um, we use various chemical methodology to tune the material designs and we try to understand the structure property relation. And the CFIFA project in one such uh, way we try to understand the properties of this material in collaboration with the French team at uh, Grenoble. As a part of this project, uh, I had a, a wonderful collaboration with Mary. Uh, she is from Neil Institute and uh, we could able to utilize the facility, uh, advanced facilities present in uh, France uh, such as you know, uh, magnetic measurement or resistivity measurement and high pressure energy experiment. Uh, we could be able to explore the properties in a very I mean, useful manner and that help us to actually improve the, uh, you know, the fundamental research that we are currently doing at the JNCSR. So in this project, um, the subject we ha handle is nothing but topological insulator. So topological insulator is nothing but it's a surface property. Uh, basically, at the core, it acts as, a, uh, act as I mean, you know, uh, insulator, but at the surface, it is like a, a conducting behavior. So it's actually, I mean, uh, one of the upcoming techniques, uh, especially used for the uh, technological, you know, development in the spintronics and, uh, uh, say, for example, quantum computing. Um, we are still in the early stage. As a material scientist, uh, we could able to uh, develop the material. And uh, uh, Mary from Neil Institute, she could be able to measure the uh, properties of those material, how they are behaving at the surface. Say for example, when you apply the pressure, this, is, this material can op, you know, show when I mean, conducting behavior. And if those uh, material, I mean, uh, showing the conducting behavior at the surface and insulator at the, uh, what you call the core, then we call it as a topological insulator material. If that behavior is actually a match with or on par with the state of art material, we may able to take it uh, for the technological application. That's what the whole aim of this project. So as a part of this, uh, I had a student, uh, um, and uh, Dr. Ramarao, so he could uh, synthesize uh, various materials uh, using like a high temperature synthesis, um, even using actually certain modification of the synthesis by uh, Bridgman crystal growth method uh, or vapor transport method. So we could grow all these crystals, single crystal. What we have done uh, using the facility in JNCSR, we characterize those crystal and try to understand the crystal structure uh, of those compounds and uh, we also did I mean, uh, some preliminary characterization collaboration with the uh, other uh, my I mean co-PI in JNCS, uh, Professor Chandravas Narayan, he's a part of this project. So in his lab we could be able to do high pressure jamming uh, but we don't have the facility for high pressure resistivity or high pressure uh, or ARPUS technology etc and all. So, this uh, proposal actually turned out to be very uh, strong support from uh, Sefi, I mean uh, French collaborator. So where she could do all these experiments that we could not do in JNCSR. It's a kind of a win-win uh, situation for both the parties. So I am a chemist and she's a physicist and uh, we utilize our expertise I mean, uh, I mean both sides efficiently to project I mean this uh, pr uh, you know what you call the proposal as a uh, successful and uh, during the course of you know this project we could be able to publish uh, uh, three four publications and a couple of them are still we are in the process of uh, uh, finalizing so po hopefully maybe we can finalize those project I mean propose project actually as a uh, publications very soon so all in all I mean I want to say that one it's a kind of uh, uh, a strong collaborative platform to develop a technology, develop the materials um, which can be efficiently utilized 
for the technological application such as sim spintronics or cam- quantum computing uh, that's what i mean overall aim of this project so uh, you know this project started uh, during 2017 um, 2018 and then we completed by 2020 i mean around that um you know in the middle of the covid period also but during i mean or pre for pre covid i mean in a uh, you know time uh, we could learn a lot from this project uh, for example um, uh, you know as i mentioned i am a uh, chemist but i mean i learned that one how we can de- design a material uh, for this particular you know certain applications we proposed um here during this process we developed this material with a surface property uh, but initially we proposed actually topological insulator but we are extending that knowledge of material design strategy for other techniques so because conductivity at the surface is a, a technique we can even propose for superconductivity or, or uh, point contact superconductivity or i mean we can propose for thermoelectric properties these are all well connected uh, Uh, properties of a material so uh, by this project or you know with the help of this project my students and myself learn uh, how this can be extended to different application we are also looking for this application whether we can exploit it for uh, uh, other properties like anything um, you know such as um, you know uh, two dimensional uh, surface technology or surface uh, properties I mean, so we are trying to explore that one so then um, we also can i mean utilize this for i mean say for example uh, hydrogen production so one such uh, discussion so happened i mean uh, maybe i mean this uh, uh, what do you call two dimensional material or this uh, topological material may be explored for us uh, an efficient hydrogen production material that's a current uh, uh, active research uh, we are doing uh, we are especially concentrating on hydrogen production or uh, uh fuel cell these are all i mean can be explored the uh, the design strategy that we have learned during the course of uh, uh, this project so we could learn a lot and uh, this project was very successful and uh, and my students also uh, explored i mean you know the facility and expertise that uh, we got it with the support of our pi or french partner or co pi and french partners involved in this project yeah so basically um, this is a surface phenomena and uh, um, the core is actually nothing but an insulator so here if you look at this figure and you can see um, uh, this is a kind of a three dimensional i mean it, it doesn't have any surface phenomena in the the moment it change i mean i just want to show a kind of a lyman's language so if you change to a, a bowl and uh, the you know you know if you act as an in bowl as a material i mean the, it has a different uh, conducting energy then uh, it changes to say for example a donut and you can see that uh, again still it has a three dimensional figure but if you change that one to cup and you can see that a donut shape i mean handle can be cup so that uh, conducting behavior only act the surface of uh, you know this one so and then it can actually and this all thing actually it can act as a insulator basically and this is a conducting so with this one so actually i mean we design in such a way tune to the material characteristic structural features to get the conducting behavior at the surface to make you know the technology as you know faster possible earlier we used to call uh electronics now the term change to the spintronics though it is actually taken by spin now and we are generating the spin at the surface that is actually taking the data forward so the future is going to be ruled by spintronic and such kind of technology development and as a chemist and our job is actually to develop that material towards that particular properties and then the french partners job is actually to understand the property of the material generated by us in the lab so for use uh, in this project we are using this instrument called as arc melter and this instrument is used for the synthesis of the intermetallic what we are working on and this instrument has a very special quality that it used to synthesize a material within a matter of 3 to 5 second by using a high electric current and that is uh, all the samples are synthesized under a inert atmosphere that is organ 
So here we use a very simple uh, a fundamental chemical property that is called as a colligative property. So those collig colligative, using colligative property, we can reduce the melting point of a element to a very low temperature so that all the materials can be melt very efficiently and from this, this instrument we can synthesize all those samples. In another way, there are some of the materials or some of the elements, those who are not having a, a problem with the vapor pressure. That is, if we have something like very high vapor pressure, we cannot synthesize the material using this instrument because here we are using an organ gas. So to overcome that one, we use a different instrument known as induction uh, induction furnace. So this is the induction furnace instrument where we put our sample here in a very high melting point material either as a tungsten or in the uh, in, uh, or the niobium metals. So we seal this all the instrument using the arc melter and we synthesize all the samples here. So after synthesis of the sample we check the samples phase purity using a, a diffraction technique known as a powder x-ray diffraction. And in some cases, if we get a uh, high quality single crystal, so to first to probe that single crystal, what we need is that we need to select the single crystal for a single crystal diffractometer. To select the single crystal uh, single crystals, we use this another instrument that is an optical microscope. So using this microscope, we select the single crystal of ranging from 40 to uh, 400 micron size and then we you go to the another instrumental lab and we characterize those. After doing the intermetallic or whatever synthesis has been done from the arc melter and induction furnace, so whatever crystals have formed, so it will be of different dimensions. So just to uh, check the size and the shape of the crystals which are formed, some of the crystals may be very beautiful. So to check that we use this optical microscope, this is the light and we will see by this and this is for magnification and also we can use this uh, microscope for uh, mounting the crystal for uh, going into structural insights for uh, via single crystal uh, diffraction techniques. Long live India and France friendship.